Hello from Paris! Say hi Jess! Hey, you alright? <laughs> oh, I've just seen, I need to take this lipstick off. I'm not a fan of it with the red earrings. Um, I'm a little bit dressy right now, but Jess and I had a bit of a disastrous uh, start to our trip. We missed the Eurostar. We didn't know, like I didn't actually see anywhere that it said check-in closes 30 minutes before departure. Um, we were running late this morning, like everything was just running late. Like we would have made it if the check-in hadn't closed, but we still had about 10 minutes to spare, was it Jess? Yeah, so then we had to like pay a bit more and get on the next train out here. We're literally here for 24 hours. Then I made a bad decision of going straight to Montmartre from the train station, but our luggage was really heavy. It was raining. I wanted to make the most of the daylight. We just ended up going for like a coffee. And then we thought we'd check into the hotel, dump our bags, get ready and go out, which is what we're doing now. Oh, then we decided to get an Uber from Montmartre to our hotel. And the Uber driver was just Oh, he was just terrible we had to walk ages to even try and find him he didn't like say anything maybe he didn't speak english he didn't help with the luggage and he dropped us off miles away from our hotel told us to like walk this way when we google mapped it both of us it was the opposite direction and it was raining so that wasn't ideal it's been a bit of a disastrous start but we are staying in hotel balmoral i would show you around but we've kind of just unpacked i love it it's a really cute little boutique hotel when i say little <laughs> like it's little isn't it yep. <laughs> it's tiny there's barely enough space to like unpack a suitcase you and <laughs> yeah you can't swing a cat in here and our suitcase is kind of in the way but that's the only place we can keep it open oh also somebody forgot the adapter plugs yeah who was that <sighs> and the other somebody tried to wake somebody up on Eurostar to be like can we look for like the plug socket under the seat and somebody woke up and said no Who's so I was somebody? like you <laughs> So then I was like, sod it, I'll charge my phone when we get to the hotel. Luckily though, <laughs> there's a lamp here that uses a USB port. So my phone is on charge. Um, I don't know how I would survive without that. So it's been, it's been such a disastrous day, hasn't it? Yep. I'm surprised that my hair isn't ruined. It actually looks quite good. Like, I'm having a good hair day for once. Anyway, our hotel's really cute and the receptionist was really nice as well. Um, I really like this place. Also, we have a tiny little French balcony. Like, it's literally, like, I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's literally, like, a foot wide. But this is our view. There we go. We're walking distance from the Arc de Triomphe, so we're gonna go there. Um, also, if you're French and watching this, just ignore my pronunciation. I, it, I just can't, yeah, so yeah. That's my little disclaimer. We've taken about 10 steps from our hotel, <laughs> and that's the Arc de Triomphe. I want to go to Alex the Third Bridge because my friend Jennifer told me he can take some really pretty photos but the sun's gone down <laughs> it's really bad timing isn't it? <coughs> it's terrible timing <sighs> I feel like I just want to go to bed like I've, well I haven't eaten all day I want to eat and go to bed and just like start this trip all over again but obviously I can't <laughs> my first sighting of the Eiffel Tower Lights just came on. It's so cold, like my nose is funny. And the lights on the Eiffel Tower just came on as well. But I want to see it like when it's properly dark because I've been told that it sparkles on the hour every hour. So we'll be back or we'll find another viewpoint somewhere. But this is so pretty. It's so cold, my hair is so windy that we've spent like an hour almost at this viewpoint trying to take photos of the Eiffel Tower and. 
Alexander, the third bridge. Um, but it was that windy that like my eyes are watering, my nose is running, my hair is flying around all over the place. So it has to go up. The gloves have had to come out too. Oh my God, we have just been walking for like about half an hour trying to find food. But we went down all these back streets towards the Vietnamese place that's supposed to be open because apparently all restaurants in Paris are closed on a Sunday. Oh, there it is. Oh. That one, that's weird, isn't it? That one. Oh yeah. Okay, I think we found it. Um, all these restaurants we've walked past are all closed and it's so annoying. <coughs> this is bringing back memories of why this is really one of my least favourite countries. Um, not just because restaurants are closed, but because, oh, for a whole variety of reasons. I might blog about that, but <coughs> there's a Vietnamese place Got and an Indian place and I'm starving. These are the only I don't think Vietnamese is going to cut yeah. it for me, Jess. I think oh, I want so Indian. This is the only three restaurants we've, we've actually seen open with our 15 minute walk here, right? I know, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, you're in a city as well. Oh, I'm sick of this, I'm so cold. Oh dear, let's see then. Okay, it's just gone about nine o'clock. Um, I completely forgot to vlog dinner. Um, it was actually pretty good for Indian food. It was called, we went to a restaurant called the Taj Mahal. I have no idea where it was, but um, I will probably insert it into one of my blog posts about Paris. Um, in case you didn't know, I've actually redone all of my categories on my blog. So if you go to the travel category, I've divided it up by continent and then country. Um, obviously all the countries that I've been to since I've been blogging. And if you just click on that country, you'll see all my blog posts for it. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. But um, I have to say the food is pretty good. I never have high expectations for Indian food abroad because it is very different. Um, apparently, like somebody once told me in Portugal, it's very different um the way we have it in the uk is like proper indian food and in europe they like make it like for whatever country you're in taste buds if that makes sense anyway it was decent we went for a little walk afterwards to see if we could find a nice viewpoint of the eiffel tower but it is so cold outside my phone says it's nine degrees which is a complete lie like it is about minus two reception porter guy was just telling us that it's gonna snow in a couple of days so it's definitely not nine degrees i kind of feel like today's been a like not really a write-off but kind of a bit of a waste everything just seems to be going wrong and i really wanted to find like a nice viewpoint a nice restaurant or a bar and just sort of sit and watch the eiffel tower sort of sparkle um at night time because today's our only night here but um we're just so tired like i was falling asleep in the restaurant that's how tired i am um and it is just like literally i've been in the hotel room for about 15 minutes and i still can't feel my toes that's how cold i am so yeah it's just not gonna happen tonight i'm gonna have an early night like i'm more than ready for bed once i've taken my makeup off i want to try and wake up really early in the morning and maybe go out and take some nice photos like as the sun's coming up but again that might be pushing it because that's far too early so yeah i'm gonna go to bed and i will see you in the morning hopefully in a better mood and i don't have a cold i just have a really bad feeling i've caught a cold today and <sighs> that's just not good but yeah good morning we are up bright and early this morning oh and we're heading out for breakfast i'm super dressed up because i want to take some nice photos in paris today yeah. Okay, got the key? Yeah. I want to show you guys the lift in our hotel. So I want to see if there's any leads around. Um, okay, so this is our hotel, lovely. As you can see, it's a really cute little boutique hotel. This is the lift. So you like push the button there. And it's so old school, you have to wait for the lift to like arrive. Then it's got like a crinkly door inside the lift. Once that opens, then you open this door, like a normal front door. Yeah, because you can't open it right now. <laughs> no. it's so <coughs> is it French or is it old school? Okay, look, see, yeah. the lift's here. Yeah, click on the door when it opens, hopefully. That'll start flashing as well. Okay, there's a man in the lift, but look, the door's gonna shut. There. Just gonna press zero. Oh, That's it. gonna. <laughs> oh my god. And this lift is so tiny. It's like, four people, doesn't mean you can. Put yeah, in four here. French people. Look, like, there's, a, there's a glass thing, there's a door. Like, it's so, so claustrophobic. <laughs>
Oh my god, it is so cold. <laughs> we had an okay-ish breakfast at Cafe Marley, but it wasn't like um, groundbreaking. And then we came outside to take some photos outside the Louvre, but the sun went down. So I was kind of vlogging it and Jas went off to go and do his own photos, but he ended up walking inside the Louvre for free. So he called me and he's like, do you want to come in? And that's one thing that I definitely don't want to do. Like everyone says, don't go to the Louvre. It's really boring. It's way too big. It takes a whole day. And now I'm kind of sat outside freezing my ass off waiting for him because there's one entrance to walk in and another entrance to walk out of and I can't figure it out. I'm also wearing heels because I wanted to take some pretty photos. Everyone's watching me vlog here, it's so weird. But it is so cold. It was meant to be sunny today and I've got a skirt on but um, I had to put my leggings on underneath the skirt. There was no way I was going bare-legged. And now I can't find Jess. So I'll show you my view because it is pretty. Um, but yeah, let's hope the sun comes up before we leave. This is my view from where I'm sat. Finally found him. Hey. It's like babysitting with you. He <laughs> just wandered <laughs> off. Anyway, um, it's 20 past 12. We take some photos. Oh, the sun's gone in again. This is so annoying. Uh, we take some photos and then what are we going to do? Head back to We've the hotel. 40 minutes, yeah, to go back to the hotel yeah. and check out. We haven't even packed our suitcase yet. Well, no, <laughs> It's very hard walking in kitten heels or stilettos if you were to wear them. I don't wear them in Paris, everything is all cobbled. <laughs> right. And we find ourselves back at the Arc de Triomphe. This roundabout is crazy. It is like so much worse than Hyde Park. They don't have any lanes. And you like traffic lights, people just drive however they want and they just stop in the middle of the roundabout. But we've had like a pilgrimage around the roundabout. Because <laughs> there's like six exits from the station, <laughs> which is the wrong one. But now, it's about five minutes this way. Let's not. Anyway, it's like about five minutes we need to check out. And it is so hard walking in heels around Paris. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually really sad to be checking out of this hotel. I really liked it. Um, it's a bit of a state though, don't judge us. I'm half an hour over the time limit, but um, it's fine, just gone to check out. We, both of us couldn't get in the lift at the same time with our luggage. Let me show you the room. It's so sad. You always know Nishi fell asleep after applying her makeup when there's a makeup stain um, on the pillow, but oh, I just love this balcony. In fact, this shop, I woke up at quarter to seven in the morning, looked out the window to see how dark it was, and that shop was open. I thought it was like a restaurant, but it's like a plumbing shop. Bathroom and kitchen shop? That's so weird. But yeah. Oh, time to check out. Let's go. Paris in the sun is just like a completely different place, isn't it, Jess? Yep. It's so pretty. Like I feel like I've almost changed my mind about it. Um, I've always said it's like my least favourite place in Europe and I kind of wanted to like come on this trip just to see what the fuss is about because everyone seems to love it and yesterday I was kind of having a bit of a tantrum <laughs> we were just really tired but um, I don't know I feel like I'm slowly changing my mind it's still definitely not my favourite place but when it's sunny like this I'm just about bagels. it kind of changes my perspective a little bit I think anyway we need some food we haven't really had any proper food since last night <laughs> resting on Justin's shoulder <sighs> Bagels. Ooh. Yeah, look, they're hefty. I'm nicely. Mmm. Comes this place called Bagelstein, but it is so busy. Like I'm waiting outside. Their menu looks good though, and they have a vegan option, which is always great. Oh yeah. <laughs> it says fuck Burger King on the till. <laughs> That's so funny. There's also a sign behind the till that says life is much easier when apple and blackberry were just fruits but i don't think you'll be able to read it from here let me try zooming you in there we go life was much easier when apple and blackberry were just fruits we stopped off to take some more photos that i literally just got changed in our hotel lobby um i had leggings on underneath my skirt and i've got like two vest tops on underneath my jumper but it's so cold we've just packed up and we're ready to leave and go back to the station we're gonna get there like really early um the garden north just to get the euro star just so that we don't miss it and there's no like there's nothing that can go wrong on the way 
Um, but yeah, I'm quite sad to be leaving actually. I didn't think I'd feel this way, but I feel as though like I've had such a long list of like things to do, cafes to go to, streets I wanted to visit, like Instagram photos to take, but we just did not have enough time. Um, and the weather wasn't that great either. So I think I'll definitely come back. But like I said, it isn't like my favorite place in the world. Um, but yeah, I think, well, I think I'll save this conversation for like when I'm not surrounded by people. <laughs> We're going to grab some food and go home, so I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be writing up lots of Paris content this week, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. But thank you for watching. I will see you hopefully very soon with another travel vlog, but I'll see you very soon with a new video. <laughs> Bye! Bye.